Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I've got the 3010 Kawasaki Mule here. Uh, we're starting to get some cold weather coming in, and uh, going to get the, uh, I got the front windshield on, get ready to put the back windshield on it, and I'm going to build some doors, and I'll be doing a video posting it uh, here uh, shortly after this one. But one thing uh, I've noticed, it has uh, been sitting for about a week or two, and kind of see... The tires on the passenger side over here are kind of going down and especially with the cold weather uh, that's going to happen more and more. Uh, just probably need to put new tires on it since these are the original tires from 2005 and we've used this like crazy but tires are expensive and I'm cheap so uh, we're going to put some filler in it for now. Uh, hopefully maybe by springtime uh, probably going to be getting around to putting new tires on. But uh, got a couple different types of sealer. Used to use the slime, and uh, seems like the slime just doesn't work as good. Uh, I don't know if they've reformulated it the last couple of years. Used to be the stuff, it was like camel something or other. You could get at Orsulins and the farm and home stores. I don't see that anymore. So I got a couple different products uh, off of Amazon. This one flat out, I bought a four pack. I've used it a little bit. I've got mi mixed results. Some of them, it's really held up. Some of them, it is not at all. But I'm going to use that on one of the tires. And then I got this stuff here. It's tire jacked. Uh, comes in a little pouch and uh, everything. So we're going to give that a shot as well. Put it in. It's November... Shoot, I don't even know what the day is. I think it's like November 10th. Something like that. And uh, we're going to put it in, and I'm probably planning on making another video probably around uh, March, April, at the end of the winter time, and just kind of see how it held up. So uh, uh, let's get started. I'm going to do the back tire with tire jacked, and uh, the front tire up there I'm going to put flat out in. And I've got one of my ATVs, also has a uh, tire that keeps going flat on me, so uh, whichever one I've got left over... I'm going to put in that. So let's get started. So if you've ever had to put this stuff in or messed around tires, uh, there's uh, these little kits you can buy. I've got four or five of them around here. And uh, they're, they're cheap. Walmart, Tractor Supply, any of your box stores pretty much sells these. Little tire kit. Usually it's a plug kit. You can get some that aren't really necessarily a plug kit. Uh, but... This will have your tools, it'll have your plugs, it'll have valve stems if you need them, and uh, pretty much every tool that you need. But just putting this in, uh, which also with this, if you do a lot of plugs, if you're popping tires a lot, they all come with a little bit of rubber cement. It's junk, it dries up usually before you use it, unless you're using it that day. Uh, I just end up buying like a big... Uh, big jar of it to go along with it but uh, you get you one of these little four ways and uh, it removes the valve real simple put it in there and then you just start turning it this will remove your valve stem and uh, should be just about out by now nope another turn or two and a lot of these, uh, a lot of these sealants actually come with like a cheap little plastic one. Be sure to save your uh, valve stem. I'm going to let that completely go out. And then I'm going to grab the sealant and I'm going to start putting it in. Alright, now opening up the tire jack, you've got your, uh, you got your sealer. Got a quick start guide, I guess if you've never done this before, kind of walks you through how to do it. Looks like it's got a little sticker, a uh, little thing It basically tells you flat protection for a year, gives you an extra little valve stem, and then you've got the uh, this that goes actually on the sealant that puts it in, and you have a uh, valve stem re remover, uh, kind of a cheap little one. These four ways... If, uh, you know, you're doing this a lot, if you're on a farm, you're always having flats. 
and uh, having to do stuff like that. Those four ways aren't expensive and they're well worth it. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna pop it in there. All right, I got it hooked, it in, hooked in there. It uh, kind of gives a tire guide size, looks like about 12 ounces for this tire, although there's only 10 ounces in here, so we're just gonna put 10 ounces in. One thing I'm gonna say up front I do not like about this is the little hose putting it on the valve stem. It was uh, smaller and very hard to get on the valve stem, and it's not like this is an oversized valve stem if there is such a thing. So we got it on, so now I guess we're just going to, well, squeezing it and nothing's coming out. So let me see if there's some kind of a on off for the for this or trick or what. And there was a little on off. Uh, the little valve you basically just had to pop up. So it's going in pretty freely now. So we're gonna load it up. I'm gonna put the valve stem in, air this back up, and then we'll go to the next tire. All right, I got the valve stem out of the front one. I've got the flat out that uh, we're getting ready to start putting in this. And uh, then we'll air them up. And like I said, I'm gonna run out, do the same to the four wheeler as well. All right, so we got them both in. And uh, again, gonna go over the, uh, the two different products. This one, it's called uh, uh, Tire Jet Tire Seat. Yeah, tire jacked, tire seal, and it's an off-road formula. It went in really easy. I mean, I barely had to squeeze it. It's a formula. It says it's made for ATVs, compact tractors, skid steers, riding mowers, and uh, 10 ounces for the tire that I had. This one, flat out, says it's built with Kevlar in it. Uh, passenger cars, light-duty trucks, SUVs, four-wheelers. Uh, there's a lot more in there. This one, it's 32 ounces, and it said for these tires, pretty much an entire bottle of this for an ATV. I thought that was a little, little odd. But uh, it was the one thing I didn't like. Now, it is a little chilly out today. It's about 50 degrees as we've got winter starting to come in. And that was pretty hard to squeeze. I mean, I it uh, I do have arthritis in my hands, but uh, you know I had to stop two or three times and uh, you know kind of let all the air come in to uh, go through and and I put about a half bottle of that in here. I did not put an entire bottle, but I mean that's still you know 16, 17 ounces where the other was only uh, 10 ounces. I think it said probably 12 ounces. So, it's uh, early November right now. We're going to see how this holds up, and I'm going to do another video, kind of like a follow-up on this, as we get into probably about March or April, and see how it held up over the winter. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, if they inspire you, if they help you out, please consider uh, giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, tell your friends about it, uh, leave us a comment. I would actually like to know if you've used either of these products or if uh, you found other products that either work really good or that don't work at all that you've tried with side-by-sides and ATVs. Uh, kind of like know your feedback on them and uh, see if there's you know some other ones out there I should be looking at or staying away from. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.